Hello my peeps, welcome over to the second channel. It has been way too long. I neglect this channel as always, I'm very sorry. I used to do this every year. I think it's been much longer than that at this point, but we've got a couple packages to open. I figured I would invite someone very special to help me out and at the same time answer some questions. Since you guys have been all up in my comments, just dying to know more about this one. I was gonna call you a, a name, but I refrained. We gotta keep it nice and civil what for now. What do you say? Steven? Mm. With a PH? You guys sent us these questions over on Instagram. Uh, both of ours will be right here at the bottom and down in the description if you want to follow us after this. And yeah, who starts? Sorry if we can't get to everything, by the way. There's a lot of stuff here and I don't want this being an hour long video. From Sam Walton, Boise, Idaho. I've always wanted to go to Boise. Hey David, love the content. I think you probably put more effort into any given video than I put into my whole life. I make these weird dolls. <laughs> this flannel fellow is for you. Please excuse his sour expression. He's busy thinking about tomatoes, cream cheese, and Rachel Ray. Stay golden, Sam. First of good handwriting. Mm-hmm. He is a weird fellow. Oh, But I like shit. him. And it's flannel print. Mm -hmm. That's sick. And he knows my favorite holiday and favorite colors, orange. Okay, I'm seeing it. That's Cute. awesome. I think we should start with the obvious ones, uh, mostly. How did you guys meet, slash, where, when? It was in a bar. <laughs> it was in a bar. It's not that exciting of a story. It was in a bar through mutual friends within our town. The funnier part of is that we literally grew up five minutes down the road from each other, and I had no idea who he was until ten months ago. Sorry. I knew who you were, so. I knew who you were. We went to the same high school. He's two years older than me, by the way. I don't and uh, I knew, like, just I knew of you. Then I went away to college, and I was in Jacksonville for six years. It ended up being, came back. This was at a bar I usually refuse to go to, by the way. I think I've been there twice to hang out in my entire oh, life. Yeah. It's a, it's so a it's... black hole, yeah. <laughs> Well, there's other reasons too, but... It's it's your typical townie bar, you know. I uh, told Maggie, I was like, um, you weren't out at this point, were you? I didn't care. It didn't matter if you were out or not. I was like... I never really came out. I didn't feel the need to. I just okay. started talking well, about I had a it. hunch. But I was like, Maggie, <laughs> so uh, your, all of you. your friend David is cute. And uh, she giggled about it and told you. And... Uh, for like half an hour, you did not come up to me, so I said, oh, oh well, next time. Because I don't do that. I don't approach people or, like, I don't, I'm very, I don't... Well, anyways, you did end up coming up to me eventually. That's that. Now it's been ten months. Fast forward ten months and... I thought he was just the cutest. Aww. Alright, let's f let's get this going. Is your boyfriend a picky eater? With some things, yes, but overall, I would say no. I can be particular, but in the end, I can eat anything except mint chocolate ice cream. It's like you're mi why would you mix chocolate and toothpaste? Anyways, oh, you're one of those people. And the second, because it's, it's good, that's why. And the second's raisins. I think that's a normal one. Nah, we tweaking. Nah, he tweaking. He tweaking. Oh, notebooks. Okay. Did, did somebody send me this to say that I'm tweaking? That's a little offensive. David, I've been supporting you since 50k. Let's get you to a million. All the best from your number one fan. I don't know your name, and I'm gonna assume you're not calling me an addict of some kind. Nah, he tweaking. Nah, it's like a joke. You know, no. thing. Thank you very much, uh, whoever you are. I will use these. Harry Potter houses, uh, as you know, proud Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Cocky. <laughs> oh man, well, caffeinated gum and caffeinated mints. Thank you, Viter Energy. Do you want to try one? Try one with me. Ew. No, I don't want it. You know what? It's pretty good. It looks a little questionable. Thank you, Viter Energy. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying it. Who said I love you first? Oh, you did. Yes. I and See, early on. We met in February, by the way, and I may or may not have been under the influence when I said I love you maybe three and a half weeks after. Yeah, so I was sober on a trip, and, uh... 
I, I, I knew I knew you had alcohol in your system, and I was just pretty much like, oh, that's cute, David. Thank you. I like you a lot, too. All right, but we started dating like 10 days after this. We met on February 6th. We started dating on March 9th. It's soon. It's quick. I know. We've heard it already. What did Steven first think about David's channel? Maybe I kind of knew he did YouTube, but I didn't really know to what extent. I'm like... Who doesn't do YouTube? I think like a week in, I finally typed in your name and like watched your videos. Like, oh my God, he does a whole a show. He's got a whole show in production here. I thought it was awesome. I I never thought I would know someone that like really had a whole YouTube channel like that. Yeah, it's from my girl Alicia Stella, by the way, over at Theme Park Stop. I adore you. Everyone go subscribe to her, please. I love her so much. What does she do? She makes videos out of the theme parks. Oh, fun. And you know how much I love the theme park. I want to go to uh, Six Flags soon. Can we go to Universal too? Yeah, but Six Flags is a lot closer. I know, but you, uh, you, you get cut my ass about Universal and you want to go to ratty ass Six Flags? Should we do our gay awakening? No. Oh, I have my gay awakening story. Aaron Carter. My aunt had gotten me the Aaron's Party CD. Um, yes, I'm old. You know, I listen to songs, but to be honest, I think I listened to it only a couple times through because I truly was just staring at the the cover. And I'm like seven years old, just in love with Aaron Carter. What's your story? Uh, the underwear section in Kohl's? I didn't really have one. I just got had crushes on people in school. And like, I knew as very early on, like fifth, sixth grade, that I was not normal, as they say. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, not normal. Well, when exactly. you're a kid, you're like, oh, why am I different from everybody? You're so, right, you're right. But you're as right. obviously time goes on, you're not stupid. Which one of you is the grossest? <laughs> you. No, I'm the His room is a disaster. I'll straighten it, I'll clean it spotlessly one day. The next day, tornado again went through. Can't deny it. That's not gross, though. That's just, like, not clean. Mm. What's your favorite food? My favorite is a tie between my mom's uh, chicken and white wine sauce as well as um, Chipotle. So. Oh yes, I do love Chipotle. I'm up and to sushi like, recently. It might be a three-way tie. I'm up to 5,000 points on Chipotle. Well, I've told my mom this before. Her cooking is bad. People always wonder why me and my siblings are addicted to hot sauce. Like any condiment, any dressing. Oh, we're sauce people. Like, you we're just mask the stereotypical blankness. New Yorkers. We love our sauce, but more so. That's a New York thing. Yes, it is. I've never heard that. Anyways, one. but her cooking was so bad, we had to spice it up, as they say. Yeah, love me Chipotle, but my favorite food is probably sushi. And I love a classic. Like, you know, you go to a restaurant and you get like a plain cheese pizza with a Caesar salad. This card is from Evelyn. Hey David, hope you're doing well with the quarantine. Just wanted to say thank you for all your videos on YouTube. I love watching. Keep up the great work. Looking forward to your next video. Best, Evelyn. Thank you, Evelyn. How is it dating someone with so many food allergies? Well, it sucks. It does. Um, I love watermelon. Watermelon's my favorite fruit. Um, oh, stop. You still eat nuts and watermelon right next to me. No, It has no. not slowed him down much. To I'm be so honest, sorry for your loss. It it's must a, be it's so annoying. Harsh. Yeah, it's annoying. How did Steven respond to a sudden celebrity boost? I wouldn't say all that. Plant-based maple flavored syrup from Miro. Miro. I've heard of Miro. Uh, come on. I think they melted it together. They're supposed to be chocolate chips. Oh shit. Peanut, you can't have any of this peanut butter. This is all peanut butter. Apparently Miro ain't a big fan of the channel. They hooking me up with all kind of nut products. They knew when they sent in 2021 that you would be here to take it off my hands. Yep. Has he flown you anywhere yet? Tell him what I got you for your Christmas present. Funny story actually. Um, the night after we met, he DM'd me and his pickup line was, I heard you cook. How about you cook us dinner and I'll fly us over the city? I've held up my end of the bargain. Anyway, so for Christmas, I finally uh, got you a, you know, a little certificate that uh, we will be going on that little flight over the city. I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'll do it next week or something. 
What's your boyfriend's favorite thing you've ever made him? Does he cook? You already know what it is. What is it? That I've made you? Yes. The the ramen? Yeah, which one? You made a lot of ramen. Like sweet chili garlic. No, no. Ramen. That one was good. The uh the penny the alavaca. Oh, the ramen alavaca. The ramen alavaca was yes. the best thing I one of the best things I've ever had. It was so good. And Amazing. the second part is this, does he cook? I can cook. I'm not the best cook, but I can definitely cook. He's can... very good. He's underselling himself. I was pleasantly surprised the first couple times he cooked. You can hold your own. Alright. We should have a cook-off. Maybe. Well, this is from Kane Socks. And it looks like you got yourself a nice pair of socks. Nice. Now, the older I get, the more I love socks. Ooh, I like these. Are you brothers or lovers? Both. I was gonna say that! Beat you to it. Wow, we're funny. What are your favorite things about each other? Oh, that's good, I like that. The good first thing that came to my mind is your personality. I think you're always extremely funny and like, I feel like I can come up with jokes when I'm like, when I'm trying and like trying to be entertaining and funny, but he's just always on. It's all the childhood trauma. <laughs> you always bring a calmness to me and then you really help to ground me when I get all flustered. And you're cute as hell. Aww, you are too. I think you're cuter than me, but... Thank you. We'll they, let them decide. They say I have a face for radio, so that's pretty good. My other favorite thing about him is his, um, down for whatever, whenever, happy-go-lucky attitude. He's always down to hop on camera. He doesn't care, like, what time of day it is, what, what's going on. You're always down for a trip, you're down for a, anything, always. And yes. I love that sporadic. Oh, I do get a little grouchy after a long day of flying, so... Yeah, but that's so rare. Advice for baby queers. What's that? Just young queers? It's funny how they said that. I would assume. I think you have to take your time and you have to, you know when it's the time is right for you and you know how you want to go about it. No one else knows that for you. Just a lot of people, you know, that I've talked to before, you know, kind of wish they came out earlier because it really is normal. It is normal. I, w I would just say to to always be true to yourself, come out, and hopefully you have a lot of love and support around you. My main advice would be, um, stop putting so much, like, stress on figuring yourself out in a sense of, like, specific labels and, like, mm -hmm. figuring out exactly what you like and, and put yourself in that box. A lot of times, people get hung up on that, and I feel like it's really uh, a hindrance to their growth. Stop worrying about boxing yourself into a label and abiding by a set of rules. Live your life the way you feel in the moment and things can change, you know, nothing is forever. Your instincts will lead you along the way. Trust yourself and uh, everything should hopefully turn out fine in the end. Hell yeah, brother. Brother. <laughs> I guess we are bros. Sexuality is a spectrum. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Smart Tro, by the way. This looks like a pretty good thermometer. You want this? I got too many. Yes. Good for thank chicken, you. steak. More for me. He's got his present pile over there. Twins. Oh, finally. That's. The, I was waiting for that one. Mm, we knew we were gonna get that question. I don't even think we're gonna say what it is. There are certain questions we will not be addressing, at least today. Maybe never. Maybe never. Are there recipes you deliberately ignore because they are too bad? Yes. Even though I do my fair share of videos where I know the recipe is going to be questionable. The one that just went viral with a huge hunk of ground beef in the middle that is very clearly still raw. Shit like that I refuse to do. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of food. Oh, somebody saw when I needed gelatin sheets in a video. This company probably saw when I tried to substitute gelatin sheets for powdered and they sent me sheets. And I could have used this multiple times if I opened these in the past year. Thank you, iGelatin. That is very cool. Favorite type of cream cheese? Well, why do we gotta get into the types? Because there's types of cream cheese. There's a lot of flavors. My absolute favorite is garden vegetable. I mean, that is a... That's a classic. Um, I love cream cheese. I don't appreciate this mockery. Bro! What? These people are trying to kill me! Raw rev, whatever. It's literally a box of straight nuts. Oh, it's nut-based protein bars. Protein bars. Okay, I'll have them. This is the best day of your life. It's Christmas part two. No, the best day of my life is when I met you. Don't be all extra sweet for the camera. 
No, nah, he is always the swing. He's an actor. He's a showman. Love you too, baby. Cream cheese. Why do you hate it? They've heard this story before. I never used to hate it. I would eat it occasionally, but back when I started this channel, every single viral food trend and video had heaps of cream cheese in it. David, calm down. I get very heated about this because why do you need a cookie dip and any kind of dessert with like three blocks of cream cheese? It is foul, it's disgusting, it's overly sweet and tangy and lactic for oh, it. Oh, know what I love with cream cheese? Uh, crab rangoons. You ever oh, have yeah. those? I did used to eat those. They can I suck. They can either really good or suck. It depends who makes them. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Chef David, 500k. No way. They made me a 500k ornament? Mm hmm. David, I saw this ornament and thought of you. I personalized it with your name and number of subs. Thank you for being a positive part of my quarantine. Your videos give me something to look forward to. Hope you and your family have a wonderful holiday season. Hugs. Amy. Much love, Amy. Her cat's Thank names you so much. are Rory, Rosie, and Sylvester. And the last question, when was a time when you were like, oh god, this dork does love me? I'll say mine. There was a picture I posted on Instagram. Um, I slaved my ass off doing some landscaping with him a couple days in a row, and then once- Oh yeah, to get my garden going. Yes, mm. and once everything started blooming and looking real nice, he made me this this really nice arrangement of everything from his garden with the cutest little handwritten note on it, and I was like, I'm not a big flower person, but that got me, that was very cute, very touching. Not a big flower person. I think they're a little overrated. What are you talking about? They, you buy them, you spend $40, they die. I mean, come on, you can't even eat them. Well, when you said I love you drunkenly on over the phone, like two weeks in. And that was a, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a cutesy, oh gosh. When you first gave me a dish from one of your uh, YouTube uh, your YouTube shows, it was love. It Made was with love. love. Made with and love. for YouTube views. Uh, thank you to everybody for your questions and your gifts. If you want to send us something for the next video, my P.O. box is going to be somewhere on the screen. We'll do another one of these whenever we have enough stuff. Down in the comments, let us know what videos you would like to see us do next. We have a few ideas already, but we are always open to more. Like and subscribe. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.